Hello everyone and welcome in. So the message we are channeling today is going to be a weekly guidance message for the sign of Taurus. If you want to skip straight to the message, there is a timestamp below in the description box. For the rules on how to receive tarot messages on YouTube, please check the description box below. Especially if you're confused, guys, all the information is laid out down there. To schedule a personal reading for the decks I enjoy using, any other social media links, it's all below. And for your full tarot scope, be sure to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Now, before we jump in, I'm going to clear the space. I'm going to set the intention. During this time, I invite you to clear your thoughts, to set your own intentions by thinking of a person or asking a question on your mind. So here we go. Spirit, guides, Archangel Uriel, Raphael, and Michael, I call upon you. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity, clairvoyance, and insight to channel these messages. Please allow a clear message to come through to those who need it. Please protect me, the seeker, and the space from any negative energies. Thank you again, spirit guides, archangels. Amen. All right, Taurus, let's dive right in here and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Taurus Spirit. What do my Taurasian friends need to know? Please and thank you. Six of Swords in the reverse. So the energy surrounding you this week, Taurus, we have the Queen of Wands, the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords. The challenge here, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Cups. The outcome, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Emperor. So we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment, but the energy surrounding you this week, Taurus, there's a lot of people involved in this situation that you're dealing with. Now, whether this is having to do with like a relationship conflict or relationship challenge, maybe this is a friendship challenge. Maybe this is a challenge between you and a coworker. I feel like there's a lot of opinions surrounding the situation at this time, maybe too many opinions. We're going to clarify this in a minute, Taurus, but I feel here there may be a need to kind of silence the crowd. If you get my drift, if you can understand what I mean by that. I feel here there was an opportunity, a situation here where you were moving in a new direction, in the positive direction, but something happened to make you Reevaluate. Now, the outcome here, Taurus, is working together to find a common ground. Now, if this is having to do with a relationship, I feel here, Taurus, that there is a need to be open to how this works out between you and this person. Okay? Um, try and be cordial through all of this, but quiet the crowd. Okay, so let's clarify. And what I take from quieting the crowd, Taurus, is not listening to other people. Not listening to other people's opinions, but making the decision based on your own personal insight, your own personal opinion. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands, the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords. You have to get in tune with your intuition and trust your gut. If you intuitively feel like this is your person and this is meant to be and you guys can resolve this challenge, then by all means, get clear on what you want the outcome to be. How are you and this person going to come together to move forward 
What sacrifices might you need to make in order to make that happen? What sacrifices may this person need to make in order to make that happen? It has to be equal give and take reciprocity or it's not going to work. I do feel like there's maybe some secrets that came out, something that was hidden, maybe somebody's behavior pattern surfaced, and this is what caused the hang up. I do feel like there is a need to talk about this, and maybe it's not about what you say, it's about how you say it, but I feel like you need to express how you felt when this happened, when this conflict happened, okay, what made you feel that way, and why. And how? Why, how, when? Right now, I feel like things are at a standstill. I definitely feel like there is a need to kind of pay attention right now. So pay attention to this person's behavior. Pay attention to your surroundings. And make the decision that's in best alignment with what you want your future to be. So what does that look like? If you don't see your life without this person, then you have to express that to this person. That may mean coming down, being sympathetic and apologetic, and owning up to the mistakes that you made if you were the one that started the conflict. Now, if this is the other way around where this person is the one that started the conflict and you're the one that's questioning if this was the right decision, do you see yourself staying in a relationship like this for long term? Let's say 10, 15, 20 years. If you and this person work long term, do you see yourself being around a person who acts and reacts in such a manner? That's why things are at a standstill right now. You have to get clear. You have to get clear on what the outcome is going to be, what position you're going to give this person in your life moving forward. If you guys walk away from this relationship or this connection, how is that going to look? Are you guys still going to be friends? Are you going to still be cordial when you see each other out? Is this going to be a situation where um, maybe one person kind of has... A chip on their shoulder from this ending, from the separation. But I feel here right now, Taurus, with you questioning this relationship or whoever's questioning, that's why this is at a standstill. That's why this is at a pause. You need to quiet the crowd. You need to get clear on what you want the outcome to be. And if, again, if you don't see yourself living without this person, then that's something that needs to be expressed. However... If you feel like maybe this behavior pattern is something that needs to change before you're going to be able to move forward, you might need to reevaluate the position you're giving this person in your life because it's not very easy to change. Think about how hard it is for you to change a behavior pattern. Now, do you think it's going to be easy for another person to change when there's somebody else enforcing that change on them? Just being honest and just being honest with yourself is what's important. So let's pull a few cards out for your spiritual advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. Taurus, I feel here there's really honestly and subconsciously maybe this is what's happening. You've already made a decision. You put your wall up when this conflict happened for a reason. Now you're questioning if that was the right decision. But I feel here you need to kind of switch your perspective on this. Taurus. You need to look at the situation as if, is this truly in alignment with what I want my future to look like? Is this something that I can accept from this person? Or am I going to have to maybe make some changes, a lot of changes on my perspective to accept this behavior pattern? I honestly feel here, Taurus, you've already made a decision to walk away. 
one foot is already out the door. It's only a matter of time before the other one follows suit. So Taurus, let's pull a soul truth message to sum up your reading here. I definitely feel like you're already out the door. Like you're already one foot out the door, already getting ready to walk away. This person might not like that so much after that decision is made. Right now, because there's this standstill, they haven't really grasped the concept of you leaving. Okay? That's what I can see here. Again, ask yourself, is this behavior pattern, this challenge that you guys have found yourself in, whatever transpired between the two of you, whether this was they blew up, they were aggressive, you guys got in a disagreement and they said some mean things, you have to ask yourself, is this something that you can live with long term? Or is this something that you're not okay with? Because Honestly, people can subdue behavior patterns, but it will always come to the surface. So pay attention, Taurus. Your soul truth message coming out for your reading is how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. Buddha, today's soul action, choose one self-care action to do today. Set stronger boundaries, meditate and listen to your heart, speak to yourself with compassion, focus on your strengths, say no to something that isn't a soul yes, say yes to something that you're afraid of, let go of what you cannot control, stay far away from drama and negativity, ask for help and allow it, and write down three things you are grateful for. Beautiful, beautiful. So Taurus, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out, you have to get clear on what you want the outcome to be without other people's interference. Ultimately, what it boils down to is like, is this something that's acceptable to you? Or is this like a non negotiable? And if it is, then you have to take the steps that you need to take to move away from this or reconcile differences. So Taurus, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.